guys, it's Saprin from FU for All. And in this video, I'll show you how to write a very simple Hello World program in C language. And I'll show you that you don't really need to, to do a lot of stuff to get that working uh, in, into your computer. So let's just start. Um, I will create a folder on my uh, desktop in which and let's just call it cprog uh, and I'll, I will put all my uh, all, all my files inside this uh, folders so let's open it and let's create a new uh, a new file that I'll call hello world.c oh sorry text file not a folder let's create a new a new text file. Let's call that hello world.c. Right, so there's nothing in it for the moment. Um, so let's just open that. And I like to edit my thing so you can use any kind of editor you want. Uh, but I, I prefer to use uh, Emacs. So if you don't have this, no problem, you can use any kind of text editor will work. So as it is on my desktop, I was just cd desktop and cd into cprog. Now if I um, if I use the dir command, I'll get into this file and I see that I have my hello world.c uh, and this uh, there's actually extension hello world.c.txt because I created like that. So that's not exactly what I wanted. So I will just delete that and I will directly uh, create it from here. Emacs hello world dot C. Uh, and I, when I do that, it opens directly the file. And when I save it using, uh, so I have, yeah, when I save it, it will appear in, into this and it changes the type to C source file. Okay, so now let's start to write simple code in that. So what is the minimum code that you need to, to write a hello world in C? Um, so the, it, your programs in C will almost always start with some includes. So the includes are uh, here to, to include some library. Uh, h. So those are Kind of standard um, C libraries which have some uh, useful functions in it. So they are two kind of very standard libraries s to the eo.h and s to the lib.h. So once you write those two, the program will understand that you have that in, you have those libraries and you can use some of the functions in it. Uh, now you need a, a main function. So int main open to uh, to parenthesis and then okay and then open bracket like this and basically uh, your code goes into the main function. Well, for very simple programs, uh, you can write some code here and at the end just put a return zero and don't forget the the small um, points point comma at the end okay once you have that you can write your code inside and i want a very simple program that actually just prints hello world so for that i use printf function which is the most basic function in c that will actually help me to print some text to the screen so printf hello world And don't forget to close this with a point comma. Save your file. And once it's safe, we are uh, ready to compile this uh, in order to test if our program uh, is working or not. So um, as my command prompt now is occupied uh, by my Emacs, uh, I can either use a second command prompt or I can open directly a command prompt into Emacs as well. So let's do that. 
I like this feature about Emacs that you can open the, the terminal shell directly into the, the text editor. For that you do Alt X and then you type shell and then this will open the command prompt directly into uh, this. Um, and now we need to uh, we need to compile our code. So for that I'll use the GCC compiler. Um, so you you can see that I'm on Windows. Uh, so if you want to install GCC and use it like I'm doing right now in this video, well, you need to watch first uh, the first video of the series in which I, I explain how to install GCC on Windows. Uh, so that's that's not uh, very straightforward. So you have to watch this video and and follow the procedure to have it installed. Okay, so once you have it, just uh, enter GCC, the name of your uh, of your code hello world dot c uh, and then you can add dash o which is the output option to give a name to your uh, output program executable so i'll just call it hello world okay and once you do that you you will have um, an hello world exe that will be created here uh, into your program so the application so basically C is a compiled language, so whatever code you write, you have to compile it in order to be able to read it. So now that we have this, we can directly write um, the name of the compiled software. So hello world.exe. And we see that it executes and we get hello world outputted. So it means that our software actually uh, works. Um, so that's it for this very simple hello world uh, type of file. So of course that's the most, uh, the easiest type of, of thing you can do in any, any type of code. Um, now in the next video I'll show you how to use variables, uh, how to uh, input something into the program, how to do some loops and if functions and, and all of that. So uh, let's Let's just do that in the next videos.